What's up fam, my name is Handstand and welcome back to my chan. Um, as most of you or some of you may know, on Wednesday the 19th of February, um, I was involved in a pretty bad uh, car accident, hence the reason why I'm bald now. Um, and I just thought I would tell you guys the full story because a lot of people like don't know the full story um, and I thought it was important to share with you guys. So today is going to be kind of a, a serious video but I really thought it was important to share with you guys. Um, so basically we were coming back from a area in Kloof area in KZN and um we were going down like a pretty steep hill we were in like a van kind of thing with like like a canopy if you know what i mean kind of like a bucky but also not like a bucky anyway and it was pretty it was raining pretty badly and um there was a car behind us and there were seven of us seven of us in the back and there were three of us three of us in the front um including the driver obviously and um, we were just sitting and chatting and, you know, as we do. And then all of a sudden we felt like this thud at the back of the van. Um, and obviously there was a car ramming into us. But because it was raining, like we started to like slip and slide everywhere. Um, but it almost, I don't know how to describe it, it almost felt like, like that was the end. In terms of like that was all that was gonna happen, and I didn't know what was about to happen. But anyway, so we got we get hit at the back of the car, and then our van rolls like this, and I thought we were gonna like steady ourselves, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the van that I was in tumbled, like t turned and ran into the ditch, um, in the middle of the highway. Um, and we all got flung out everywhere. Um, it was extremely painful, um, extremely emotional, uh, I was in shock, a lot of other people were in shock as well, um, I don't remember much after that, I'm going to be, like, completely honest, um, as you can see, I hit my head, so I don't remember much from the incident at all, I remember me looking for my phone in my backpack, um, and my phone was in the mud and the water, so it got completely destroyed, so I had to go get a new one. But, um, my phone was destroyed, and my clothing was wet and muddy and all that kind of stuff, which wasn't too much of an issue. Um, and the ambulance comes. I have no idea who found the ambulance, I don't know how or when it got there, but I know that there was an ambulance at some point, pretty quickly, actually. Um, and then they guided us to the ambulance. And then I sent the ambulance. I remember being in the ambulance for a total of maybe two minutes. I don't remember much from the ambulance. I just remember sitting there and there were like four of the other people that were also involved in the, in the accident um, sitting across from me. Um, and I don't remember anything after that. And apparently um, I got I either had an anxiety attack or a seizure and the um, people in the ambulance sedated me which means they they gave me gas to knock me out um so I don't remember anything after that at all the next thing I know I'm in the hospital bed getting rolled into the room to get a CT scan for my brain um and I woke up and I was getting pushed into the CT scan that's I don't remember anything like before that at all um I wake up and then I must have like knocked out again i don't know but the next thing i know that i was getting x-rays down on the table it is all like in blotches my memory is in like little small blotches um i remember getting x-rays done which is the most tragic thing for me um not because anything was broken uh i was blessed enough to have not a single broken bone um the most tragic part for me is that they had to chop my friendship braces off um, to get a clear um, scan or whatever from the x-rays and I remember very vividly that I was crying a lot in that process because 
obviously, as you guys may know, that the, my friendship bracelets are very, very important to me. And some of them have been on my arm for over three years now. Um, so it's a very emotional time for me as well. Because, like, my arm hasn't been bare for years. For literally three years. Um, I feel naked right now with, ha with having nothing on. Um, I've still got them. They're in an envelope. Um, I'm going to wash them and I'm going to tie most of them back on. Some of them can't go back on because of the way they cut them. But I'm going to try my best to put as many as I can on because I'm not the same without my bracelets. Um, but it is just a really emotional time. Um, and I just thank God that we're all safe because there were 10 of us and the entire vehicle tumbled over and no one in the vehicle got a broken bone. Um, to my knowledge, I know that one person got a cut lip um, and he had to go into surgery for that, but no broken bones, no one was paralyzed, no one was, nothing was fatal. Um, and we're just really blessed in that time. Um, how my mom found out about it, because obviously my phone was destroyed and for whatever reasons, my um, family's details were not on my contract or whatever so i'm not entirely sure why but anyway um and so my director for the camp um sent out a friend request to a bunch of friends of mine on facebook um and asked them to accept a friend request and one of my mom's best friends who lives in brisbane australia this is absolutely incredible. She never accepts friend requests that aren't that from people that she doesn't know. But something told her to accept that friend request. So she accepted the friend request, keeping in mind that she was eight hours ahead of us in terms of time zones. But she accepted this guy's um, friend request and um, my director <clears throat> um, uh, messaged her on Facebook saying, um, do you know handstand? <clears throat> um, and if so, can you give us his parents' uh, phone number? He's been in an accident, all that kind of stuff. So she says, yes, of course. She sent the, uh, the, the, um, my mom's phone number to them. And then they phoned my mom. Um, and then I obviously was unconscious when my mom got there. But by the, like later on, I was awake. And she told me this whole story of how um, my friend, her friend from Australia, who's eight hours in a different time zone, happened to be on Facebook and happened to accept some random stranger's friend request on Facebook to get the message that I've been in an accident and that they need his, that they need my mom's number. Like, that is absolutely incredible. Like, I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed that that happened to me. Um, and yeah, this experience has been more emotionally tolling on me than it has been physically. Um, I've got my cut on my head, I've got my little graze on my arm, and this cut on my shoulder, but um, nothing is worse for me than the emotional tolling that I had to go through to see my friends in pain, um, to experience being in an accident like that, and um, going through like all these emergency things at the hospital, it is just very emotional for me, but um, I just really want to thank you guys so much for those of you who have sent messages to me. I got over 200 messages from TikTok, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, and everything. So I really want to thank you guys so much for sending me messages. Um, they really helped me so much. You won't, um, you won't understand how much it helped me get through my days um, a whole lot better. So I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support and care that you've sent through me. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I promise you I'm fine. Um, I've got a bit of a concussion still, so like my memory isn't as great. Um, but I just want to let you know that I really appreciate all the support and love. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me. Um, and yeah, I, I just really felt like I needed to ex uh, explain this and like tell you about my experience and how it changed me. Um, i like to end off by saying that <clears throat> um, I'm 21 currently um, and obviously at the time of the accident I was 21 and it made me realize that life can end 
like this. I know that sounds so cliche, but life is not long and it can be taken away from you in an instant. And um, I'm sorry. Um, you must just try your best to live life to the fullest, not only for you, but also to make sure that other people's lives are affected positively as well. Um, now more than ever, I, I felt like I did before anyway, but now more than ever, I'm going to try my best to make a positive impact in this world as much as I possibly can, because I know that that's important. And I know that um, some of you may not understand, oh yeah, you know, yeah, he went through a traumatic experience, but why should he be doing this? But that's just the way I am. Okay, and I feel like a lot of people need to do that too. A lot of people need to be positive and <clears throat> um, kind to one another and loving and accepting towards people because you never know when your life is going to end or when their lives are going to end. I almost lost, I could have potentially lost my life on Wednesday um, and I'm still here, thank God. But um, under, circum under different circumstances, I may not have been here today. And I'm really lucky that I am because I'm get to spend the rest of my life. Don't know how long it's going to be now, but the rest of my life with you guys even more. And I get to be a positive influence on you guys. Hopefully that's what I'm trying to do, but I really hope this video makes someone happy and makes someone realize that life is worth living and that you mustn't take anything for granted. Okay. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, so stay lit, stay amazing, and never give up. I promise you the next video is going to be fun. <laughs>